So recently we talked about how Gideon decided that he was going to leave his former channel where he was actually one of the most famous pranksters on the entire internet and how he would now be turning his life and his content over to God and Christianity. It's all gone. This is all that's left. There's no Christian in the right mind that can make the case to say that the content that I was making was of God. And in that video, we also discussed a lot of pranksters from yesteryear, and recently one of them actually resurfaced, and no, I'm not talking about the insane world of FoosyTube. To my knowledge, that guy's actually still in the loony bin after he screwed up what looked to be his last chance at redemption. I'm actually here today to talk about his once good friend turned arch nemesis, Vitaly. Back in the early 2010s, these two got very close at some point, as they were kind of the juggernauts in the prank space making insane amounts of money, but at some point that relationship deteriorated and the two ended up actually exposing each other. For Vitaly, it was for his use of steroids. I'm gonna expose your fraud ass for everything that you are and all the steroids you have in your system right now. And for Fousey, it was for his love of massage parlors and back page women. Uh, this video they just did about me, I'm so hurt by it, I'm so hurt. Uh, I actually want to take off my stress off and I want to call one of I know you have all the numbers of LA cheapest what are they, like 150 bucks? You used to pay him. You used to tell me, what's the massage parlor you used to go by your old apartment? I forgot the name, but I know you told me. Or the back pages. Which ones are real? Because I know you knew all the ones that were real. And while at first they would both deny these allegations, obviously Vitaly was on the gear, and Fusi has admitted to having this issue with women. He allegedly spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on this nastiness, in fact. And it basically drove Fusi, who was actually very successful at the time, into rock bottom from every standpoint in life. Either way, Vitaly is back, and he is the latest clown to try and hit it big on kick, where seemingly everything goes in the name of quote-unquote free speech, which I guess is just an excuse to be a public nuisance and harass people for clout, and clip impressions. And when I saw these first couple of clips, I actually thought that Vitaly was gonna be the hero that we didn't know we needed, but we definitely deserved. As at first, it seemed like he was gonna be making fun of all of the idiots on Kick, pretty much mocking their content, and of course their clout chasing ways. So he boots up the stream and comes out in one of those hospital gowns, mocking Fusi, who obviously went to the loony bin a couple of months ago. How are you? My name is Vitaly. I'm new on kick, and I'm about to take this f***ing platform out. <laughs> you feel me? My face, dude! All right, all right, what are you doing? Yeah. Feel me? Yeah. I'm right here! You're f f***ing about to get fired! Right so he has that same shysty on his face that Fousey had made so infamous. And right here, he is essentially mocking these manic episodes that Fousey had on stream when he was, like, becoming one of the biggest on Earth. What is going on, dude? Get in here! Oh, <laughs> Dude, they're all pulling up right now, these cops. You're about to be fired if you say anything about the cops again! Okay, sorry. Where's Aiden? I need my kick deal. He promised me. <laughs> Dude, I need my phone. I need to read the chat. So yeah, at first I thought he was just gonna have like a mocking Fousey stream, which I'm all for. Oh man, look, I look like a f***ing clown, bro. Look what I'm doing for this f***ing clown, bro. Clown, bro. I got a f***ing condom on my head. <laughs> I got a f***ing leather glove. My veins can't breathe. <laughs> this man... is just an absolute menace. They call me the local booty eater. Love you. And this is pretty much on par with what you can kind of expect from Vitaly. A lot of vulgarness, really just out here messing with people in public. Here he mocks Fousey and his heart on that he had for Drake. Drake! Drake! I can hear him, he's somewhere around here. <laughs> I'm him. Y'all remember when Fousey was literally trying to look like a dollar store Drake? When he was out here literally bowing down to the sixth god, like this was a grown man. Dude, I gotta pray. I hope my day goes tonight with Drake very well. Well, lucky, my life is gonna change. Who can say the eight Drake's are all? <laughs> And so this is when Vitaly kind of gets out of that Fousey character 
and decides to just go back to his bread and butter, which is pretty much just going up to women or even men and just saying the most out of pocket shit possible. On social media, I'm not a fucking social media. F that garbage. I'm here for one reason and one reason only to pick up black girls like you and now like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you gay? No, I'm 56. 50? Oh my God, you're a gilf. That's my fucking type. Good. But anyways, no disrespect to you. I love you, little hub. Like I said, I've been homeless and uh, I would love to take a nap, but I don't I think only my will fit on this little bed. So I'm going to keep going. I wish you best of luck. God bless you. Stay up. Stay salty. Stay hard. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I just wonder how much your brain slowly starts to deteriorate after an entire decade of filming this type of activity. Like this is the very same bit that he has been doing for a very long time. At this point it must be second nature to him. Like when you add this all up with the amount of drugs, partying, and insane things this man has done, I would say it's aged him like a good, I don't know, 10, 20, maybe 30 years. Here's where he tries to riz up a local Miami man. Excuse me, sir. Hey. Oh. How are you? Well, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I want to ask you a question. Okay. Would you mind if I eat your booty? Uh, I'm sorry. I, let's... I, sorry, this isn't uh, a, 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 a... This man was absolutely flabbergasted. I mean, you can't just be going up to people in public and asking them if you can eat their ass cheeks like some groceries. You wearing a pink shirt? So I thought it's like, no, it's sorry. like, welcome to Miami. No, I, I guess I should be more careful. I'm not too aware of the symbolism. Well, this is Miami. Be careful because you're going to have to sleep with one eye open tonight. <laughs> Someone locked this motherfucker up. I mean, Vitaly is seriously on some other shit. Sandwich looks so good. No, no. <laughs> no? Go. <laughs> the fact that she actually played into the dog bit and threw him a piece no? of that sandwich Go. is hilarious. <laughs> How old is this guy? He has to be like at least, I would say, what, 40 years old, maybe like 45? You really mean to tell me that this guy is only 31 years old? He's only four years older than me? I mean, the ID might say 31, but the face says 50. Like, if anything, this man should be the poster boy on why you should not do steroids. I mean, when you're out here still doing this shit into your 30s... <laughs> Looking for a drop of internet clout? Something has obviously gone extremely wrong in your life. For those of you that don't know, in the past, this man has been arrested for doing some pretty disturbing things, to say the least. But hey, I guess you could say he is the perfect new poster boy for Kick. Where it seems like the more degenerate you are, the more you're actually going to be promoted. I mean, between Twitch and their new policies, which pretty much allow these women to be cam girls and Kick just pretty much allowing absolutely any idiot on there, the state of streaming is just in a very sad place. Like, I remember back when it was just motherfuckers playing RuneScape. I'm out here. Oh, I'm out here. I'm out. I'm out here. I'm just kidding. Like, yeah, Mock and Fousey was pretty funny, but this shit is just kind of sad. Like, we're not really laughing with you. We're just pointing and laughing at you. Here he actually does give his opinion on Neon and that OF girlfriend of his. Neon's girl, bro. I don't, I don't know about that. That would be too easy. But I can't believe it. she's definitely using him, bro. I'm seeing the connections and I'm learning from so much past experience. Oh my God, look how he's bringing me to Basco. So he basically calls Neon's girl a hoe. And I will say, if there's one thing that is true about Vitaly, at least it's like... He's not new to this. This is like who he's truly been for over a decade. And you don't see him running around with all these various security guards and just talking his shit. It really just appears to be him who has never really given a f 
You cannot film it on the property. Why well, can't I film it on the property? It's not. Huh? Well, bro, are you, are, why are you so scared? We're not. No, we're not casting you for black. No, Chill out, no, bro. No, well, don't don't come up here and don't tell us to leave if you don't want to be on camera. Call. Okay, call the police. Oh my God, we're so scared of police. <laughs> I don't want to be on camera, but let me come to the lens and say I don't want to. I, I don't want you to film here. Don't don't come. I'm standing on the public sidewalk. Let the cops come. That's a clip. And that's what these streamers are looking for at this point: is these clippable moments that go viral across the various social medias. Ever since the emergence of TikTok in various genres, that has pretty much been the way to break out onto the scene and get your longer form content seen by more people. When he looks in the mirror, this is him. This is for you, I'm not touching you. Why are you being a rat? Rat, 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 rat. And this is the shit that does get annoying, I mean, this guy is obviously just trying to do his job, which probably isn't very delightful in the first place. Like, there's not many people who probably would choose to be a security guard at a local mall. And then you have to deal with assholes like this. 6 9 brother. Don't touch my camera. Don't touch it. I'm rat. I'm rat. I'm rat. I'm not touching you. Rat. I'm rat. That's you, bro, when you look in the mirror. Rat. Where's the cops at? Rat. Rat. Attack us. You rat. You're good if you want to film on the sidewalk. Okay. That's on the sidewalk. On the sidewalk. That's where it was the whole time. I'm so shocked. Are you, are you gonna let me finish? Go ahead, sorry, I'm just hyped. I'm just a rat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when this is the shit we're using the police for, like this is where your tax dollars are going, to me it's just not a very good sign. If you go inside the property, it doesn't What's inside you. the property is behind this line? Yes, behind Rat! Rat! Do you know what the story of the conduct is? Yeah. When you scream like that and but, you attract people? Uh, do you know what assault is? He attacked my camera guy. I'm just letting you know. Okay, I'm telling okay. you, okay. Stop screaming rat. I'm not gonna scream, I'm gonna whisper in his ear. That's not a disorderly conduct. I'm gonna take a rat. And so the common theme here when it comes to these various in real life streamers is that they're a bunch of grown men who have the maturity of like a nine year old boy. Like, yes, it might be mildly entertaining to me because I do have a kind of juvenile sense of humor, but we also need to acknowledge how truly sad it is for someone of his age who's been on the internet as long as he has been, he should have had millions of dollars in the bank by now to still be having to resort to doing this silly shit just to try and land a kick contract. It's just beyond pitiful. Like I said, the only thing I will give him props for though is not hiding behind security. I really think this guy doesn't give a damn if he gets into some sort of physical altercation. But y'all let me know what you guys think about the wonderful world of streaming down below. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy the Tan Superman, and some of the clown streamers out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Peace!